So, this is a bear trap. Another bullish signal. Di ba, supposedly, pag nag-break below the support level or the neckline, dapat magtuloy-tuloy na, di ba? Pero hindi ganun yung nangyari. So, nag-recover above it. Ngayon, nasa resistance tayo. So, crucial yung mangyayari this week. Okay, okay game. Yun, so welcome to our episode 2 of uh, of the Market Tanod Watch. So, bali, ano tayo, uh, titignan ulit natin yung uh, key indices natin, no? Uh, key markets na tinitignan natin, which is yung Philippine market, global market, and crypto as well, no? So, pa pasadahan natin. So, first and foremost, uh, tignan muna natin yung nangyari last week, no? So, start tayo dun. Uh, let's start with the economic data. So, boring stuff muna, no? Boring stuff muna. So, last week, may madaming, madami economic data na nirelease, no? Na very important. And, I think yun yung nag-fuel sa market rally natin. In the US market, sadly, hindi nag-spill over sa Philippine market. But, basically, ito yung mga data na release last week. So, starting with November 1, no? Yung ISM Manufacturing PMI. So, below 50 pa din, pero slightly lower than consensus. So, this is bad, no? This is bad news. So, ibig sabihin lang nito humihina yung manufacturing sector. So, jolts uh, or job openings and labor turnover data, it printed 9.553 million uh, versus the consensus na 9.25, no? So, ang, ang expectation nila is hihina yung jolts, no? Pero lumakas. So, mas madami job openings pero ang question jan is hiring ba sila or nag-materialize ba siya into employment? So, makikita natin later on. So, next, isa sa mga pinaka-importante na nangyari last week, which is yung Fed interest rate decision. Bali, ang nangyari dito is hindi sila nag hike. Diba? Hindi sila nag hike They paused. So, parang ang, ang nangyari is, ang expectation ng market is, ano na, this, this is the last rate hike yung nangyari nung previous rate hike. And, ayun, uh, pag nagkakaroon na ng big pause or long pause, mo, high probability mag yung markets uh, with that with that environment. Like what happened nung early, uh, uh, late 1990s and 80s. So, nagkaroon under a high interest rate environment, then nag-pause, nagkaroon ng post rally, Fed uh, Fed rate hike post rally. So, let's t- uh, tignan natin if ganun yung mangyari nga. No? If mag-pause, then magkaroon ng strong rally. So, FOMC meeting, uh, FOMC, sa pagkakasabi ni, uh, ni Jay Powell, it's like medyo naging dovish na rin sila. No? Or yun yung interpretation ng market. Uh, naging dovish na sila. So, hindi natin alam if yun talaga yung yung goal or yung messaging ni, J- ni J. Pao. So, this week, mag, ano siya eh, mag bibigay siya na speech. So, it's either hammer down niya yung nangyari sa equities this this week and naging reaction ng market. We don't know. So, yun. Another data na another set of data na nirelease last Friday, November 3. So, NFP, uh, slightly lower than consensus, no? So, parang it signals na, ano na, humihina na yung labor market, no? Or yung, lab- yung, yun, yung labor market. Same with the unemployment rate. Uh, 0.1% higher than the consensus and yung forecast. So, tumataas sa or sumisipa na yung unemployment rate. So, this is uh, parang... Parang, pinap- parang lumalabas na palapit yung recession, parang ganun. Pero bottom line is, this, this is disinflationary. Disinflationary, yeah. not inflationary. So, syempre, pag lower, di- uh, lower inflation, uh, pwedeng mag-pivot yung Fed, no? To rate cuts or, yun nga, pause, rate hike pause. ISM services, PMI, uh, non-manufacturing naman yan. So, higher than 50 naman, pero slightly lower than the consensus. So, 51.8 and then yung consensus is 53. So, that signals nga na nagkukul na or nagkukul down na yung labor market. So, ayun. Uh, mabalik lang tayo, no? 
So, key economic data, bad news halos lahat. Although, yung Fed interest rate hike, uh, Fed interest rate decision, uh, nag-pause. So, yun yung, ito yung naging reaction ng, ng market, no? So, nag-rally. Nag-rally siya ng sobrang lakas. Around 6% in just a week. 6% in just a week. So, ito yung spy natin, S&P 500. Same with our Qs, ganun din. Ganun din yung naging reaction niya. So, looking at our indices at a technical standpoint, no, yung SPY. So, let's look at the big picture muna. So, delete ko muna yan. Delete ko muna yan. So, yung yung SPY, nag ano siya, nag-rally siya nung early, uh, first half ng 2023. Strong rally, then nagkaroon ng distribution structure. Nagkaroon ng distribution structure nung second half. Nag-break below, retest, then Ngayon, trying to re-break the neckline. So, this is a good signal if na-break niya nga itong 440 or itong neckline na yan. So, we have a bearish signal, a head and shoulder structure. Then, if ma-invalidate yan, that is uh, a bullish signal. So, ayun, lagi kong sinasabi na if there is a bearish pattern na na-invalidate, so that is strongly bullish. Kasi madami kang trap sellers or mga na webso na sellers, ganun. Ganun basically. So our queues looking at the queues, same structure lang din coming from accumulation, then the markup phase, then distribution. Ngayon formed a head and shoulder pattern, broke below the neckline but recovers above it. So this is a bear trap, another bullish signal na di ba supposedly pag nag-break below the support level or the neckline dapat magtuloy-tuloy na di ba? Pero hindi ganun yung nangyari. So nag-recover above it. Ngayon, nasa resistance tayo. So crucial yung mangyayari this week. Crucial yung mangyayari this week. If it breaks above this resistance trend line yung cues natin and then coils, mag-pause or mag-create ng base, that's good you will have tradable and actionable setups na magma uh, magmamaterialize uh, in our queues <clears throat> or in the market. Ayun lang, no? Ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-importanting charts din, which is yung RSP and yung QQE, triple QE. So, ito yung equal weighted, no? Equal weighted ng queues and equal weighted ng S&P 500. So, these are both ETFs, pero ito equal weighted. Yung SPY kasi is market cap weighted, no? So, this signals na wala. Mal hindi pa talaga siya bull market, no? Hindi pa talaga on a bull market yung yung equities. Masyadong binubuhat lang siya ng... Binubuhat lang siya bale ng... ng, mag, ng Magnificent 7, which is Amazon, Google, uh, Meta, ano pa ba? Uh, in, NVIDIA and Amazon or nasabi ko na yun. Basically, yung big seven, no? Yung big seven. So, binubuhat lang siya. Pero, if in equal weighted basis, madami pa rin talagang uh, hindi nag na stocks under S&P 500. Same with uh, the QQQE or equal weighted na Nasdaq. Ganun din. Ganun din yung lumalabas. Ganun din yung lumalabas. Yun. So, ang gusto lang natin makita for equal weighted uh, Q, equal weight, equal weighted Qs is mag-recover above uh, MA50 ulit siya, no? Or eto, yan, SMA50. So, yun yung gusto natin. And, syempre, mag-break above dito sa trend line na yan. If mag-break above the trend line yan, then good. Diba? Then good. So, for small caps in the US market, nag-bound siya from the support level and Right now, uh, trying trying to break above the 50% na itong uh, market structure na to. So, under accumulation pa rin yung small caps natin. No? Basically. So, ito yung another resistance level niya. 382. So, fib, fib retracement yan. Fib level yan. So, most likely mag-resist yan dyan. At the same time, yung SMA50 natin. Same with our mid-cap uh, mid index or ito yung ETF ng mid-cap, no? mid caps. So nag bounce lang din or recovers above the 50% of this trading range. 
So, kung iano natin, so, isusuma total natin siya. Nasa resistance levels tayo. So, kailangan mag-ingat tayo na mag-overdeploy or overexpose in the markets. No? Lalong-lalo na coming from hindi naman totally euphoria or 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 something like that. Pero, naging overexcited yung market last week eh. Naging, baka, pinangun, baka masyadong pinapangunahan ng ng market participants yung talagang anong gagawin ng ng Fed. So, yun. Tignan natin yung market breadth. At the same time, ito yan, MMTW. Tinitignan din natin yan. Very, cru- very crucial na index na tinitignan ko yan. During over oversold levels, our green zone. So, ito yung ano, uh, percent of stocks above 20-day average. So, tinitignan niya, tinitignan niya lahat ng stocks and ina-assess niya and kinakount niya yung mga stocks above uh, 20-day average. So, right now, nandito na tayo sa level na overbought. So, during overbought levels, uh, no, ingat ka muna mag, uh, mag-over-deploy, parang ganun. Much better na naghahanap ka ng setups during oversold uh, levels. Or, and, uh, pag nandito sa 50% level. Nandito sa 50% level. So, yun. So, tignan natin yung mga macro data na lang din natin. No? Tignan natin yung macro data natin. So, very crucial din. Ito, yung DXY. So, ang gusto talaga natin makita for the dollar is bumaba, di ba? Bumaba. So, that's good for equities. And right now, it's, signa- it's quite signaling na, yun nga, pwedeng re- mag-shift na tayo to a risk on environment. Lalong lalo na if it breaks below this wedge, no? A break below this wedge. And, ang gusto natin talaga, na, ma- mapunta na siya dito sa range na yun. Eh. Sa 102, 1, 101, mas gusto natin syempre, di ba? So, a weaker dollar is good for equities or for risk assets. So, eto, mga short-term bonds or two-year yield natin, no? Nag-break below na rin sa, sa channel niya, sa uptrending channel niya. So, this is good for the markets. This is good for risk assets. So, pag bumabagsak ang, pag bumabagsak ang yields, 2-year, 10-year, 10-year yields, that, that's good for equities. So, ayun din, TNX natin, our 10-year note yields, ano na rin? Uh, nag-gap down na rin, nagkaroon ng strong decline. Ang gusto na lang natin makita is mag-create ng bull trap dito. Bull trap. Or a trap event. So, syempre, di ba, if yields go down, uh, more liquidity for the market. Di ba? Ito, speaking of liquidity, Fed liquidity, uh, ito lang, no, kaya din maingat din ako with uh, overexposing uh, for now. For now. Kasi Fed liquidity is still inside this base. Hindi pa rin naman siya nagbe-break above this resistance trend line. If mag-break above the resistance trend line tong Fed liquidity, ibig sabihin, yung market rally is backed by Fed liquidity. And syempre, pag uh, may Fed liquidity na, pag may Fed liquidity pump, mas sustainable yung rallies. Mas sustainable yung market run, uh, yung market run-ups. Yun. So, I hope gets nyo no? Or I hope naging clear yun sa inyo. So, for US, ito yung mga tinitignan ko na names. Uh, may mga actionable na setups naman. So, looking at our market dashboard, no? So, looking at our market dashboard, uh, top 15 market groups, no? Uranium and nuclear, property, casualty, blockchain, energy and MLP, or mga oil and gas related names, aerospace and defense, so may war, uh, may war sa Israel and Hamas, So that's good for defense stocks. Home builders din. Uh may strong rally na nangyari diyan. IT as usual. Uh esports, steel producers and semicon and FNB or food and beverage. So tignan natin yung mga finocus list namin uh last week ah uh, kahapon, uh, kahapon Sunday. So eto for food and beverage, uh Bellring Brands uh isa sa mga picks namin. So basically, kung titingnan mo big picture, all-time high, no brainer 'yan. And during all-time highs, ang kalaban mo na lang are profit takers. 
Yun yung pinaka main logic behind that. And looking at this pattern, well actually nagmaterialize na siya. Uh, nakabili ako at this point 44 on the on the breakout and right now nagbreak na rin, nagcreate ng 52 week high or all time high yung bell ring brand. So for our uranium pick NXE, so positioning kami at six dollars or six bucks. So we're looking at it uh, at this angle, no. Looking at uh, NXE or uranium name kasi to, uranium name or nuclear name. So if it breaks above this uh, base, medyo malaki yung potential niya, malaki yung potential niya. So measured target pa lang. Uh, 11.72 or sabihin natin 11.50 yung initial target or measured target. So, if ito yung tradable setup mo which is this parang cup uh, cup structure or or cup and handle structure <laughs> pero di naman kailangan na may specific name. Basically, ang key logic lang is may build up ka may build up ka near resistance level. So, that's a good signal na possible siya mag breakout. Uh, dito. So, let's see if it breaks above this 650 level. etong NXE. So, tight stops na 580. Uh, 580 or pwede wide stops at 550. So, DRS, uh, defense, defense naman na uh, bet namin or or possession na tin or uh, win a watch list namin, DRS. So, same thing near all time high or at all time high ah hindi pala multi year high pala multi year high so since uh, early 2000 nag base lang siya dyan then right now trying to break above this multi year high or uh, a multi decade high so kita naman natin uh, coming from this base nag rally siya created another uh, box structure nag break uh, nag break out ulit so right now initial target is at 24 bucks Another uranium bet, UEC, pero swing trade lang din. So from from this base, targets lang at 650. So nothing nothing fancy. Ito VRT. Uh, semicon or electronic uh, bet namin. Semicon related bet namin. So VRT Holdings. So nagbe-base din siya at all-time high, near all-time high. And ano lang din. Usually, pag all-time high kasi wala, wala kang predefined target or mahi, mahirap hanapan ng, ng target price. So, kung measure target lang ang gagawin mo dito, kunyari yan, base to base. Kailangan naka-log chart to eh. Yan, naka-log. Naka-log naman. Tanggalin natin yung 3, 2, and 6, 1, 8. Initial target is at 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So, if kukunin ko siya at 42 or makukuha mo siya at 42 uh, tight cut lang at the 20 day moving average or 30, 38 bucks 38.50 then targets mo at 50 meron kang around 4 is uh, 3 is to 1 reward risk so you risk 100 dollars pwedeng return sa'yo is 380 dollars 380 dollars so another Stock na watch list namin is Dell. So, top 5 lang din. Uh, ano lang? Sige, top top 8. Top 8 lang tingnan natin. Top 8 na winawatch list namin for US. So, Dell. Ito, Dell, no? Uh, nag-break na rin sa resistance trend line. So, cru crucial to. Lalo na, nag-break above din sa sa anchored VWAP. So, ginagamit namin yan as a more and precise way to have a, uh, a dynamic resistance point. So, pin, uh, pinlot ko dyan or inangkor ko at uh, this high. At this high. And then, ngayon, break, break above AVWAP. So, two days na above it. So, on the third day, tignan natin if it closes below on the third day, then pass na for this, for this name, no? for this stock. So, RSI, in terms of RSI naman, nag-above na siya sa RSI MA. Or moving average. So, yun. Initial target for Dell is at 82. 82 bucks. Well, actually, ito. 618 uh, target. 78. So, meron kang 8 is to 1, 5 is to 1 reward risk. 
for Dell. Ito, another na tinitingnan namin, av point. So, looking at the big picture, coming from an accumulation structure, uh, breaks above it, right now, transitioning to a markup. And very clear base yan, no? very clear na box pattern yan, or uh, ascending triangle, pennant, whatever. Pero bottom line lang, it's a reaccumulation. Nagpapahinga yung buyers mo, nagpapahinga yung buyers mo. And if bumalik sila, most likely, yun din yung igagalaw niya from this point to this point. Same, same ano lang, same magnitude, kumbaga. So, meron kang 5 is to 1 for this uh, AVPT na possible pick. So, for NVIDIA, our classic pick uh, na under semicon. So, ito yung, ito yung semicon leader talaga natin. Maganda if it uh, breaks above the RTL muna or resistance trend line. Mahirap kasi na pangunahan dito at this point. Kasi, na, uh, kasi resistance point yun eh. Resistance point yun. At the same time, Lapit na rin ang earnings, so expect volatility. Uh, Pre-earnings and post or uh, on the earnings day itself. So for AMD, AMD naman, good earnings yung pinakita niya, no? Um, good earnings reaction yung pinakita ng market for AMD. Uh, ano din, nag-break above the RTL. Then right now, ang, ang inaantay na lang namin is a base or a coil dito sa AMD. Then, yun yung magiging uh, buy point. It's either a pullback, a pullback, or a coil for AMD. Ito, Anet, uh, gumalaw na rin, breaking above this base. Uh, pwede, short term, pwede mong gawin, since parang boomer setup to eh, uh, by Jeff Cooper. Yung nag-pause candle, two days na. On the third day, usually, if it breaks above, uh, the indecision candles, baka yun, magkakaroon na follow through. So, eto, uh, consolidation structure or short consolidation structure, stops mo at this point, targets mo on the 1618 target. 1618 target is from this rally point to this uh, swing low to this swing high. Target mo at 1618, 240, 230, uh, 236. Meron kang clear 4 is to 1, 3 is to 1. So, momentum setup naman to. Itong Anet. So, under communications, yung Anet. For Meta, eto, sige. Eto naman, Meta. Near resistance na din. Eto, um, ano to? Medyo strong resistance level yan. Although, ang maganda for Meta is may new product siya, nin, may new product na nirelease si Meta. No? And I think good din yung earnings niya. Good enough naman. Uh, good enough naman. And maganda rin yung nag- Maganda rin yung naging reaction ng market. Uh, actually. So, this is a good uh, base structure. A basing structure. So, pwede mo siyang... It, uh, very actionable yung set. Very very actionable yung setup. So, kung swing setup lang din gagawin mo, pwede ba yung breakout ka dyan? Stop, stops mo 50% na itong uh, level na yan or ng structure na to. So, 50% is around 290 to uh, below 300 three, below 300 so classic yun if it close below 300 then pass na diba potential target mo sige resistance na lang din previous resistance point so meron kan 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 so if ang bet mo is mag bull market na talaga this 2024 possible all time high bet to tong meta all time high bet Yun. So far, yun lang muna no? for US market. Uh, basically, kung titignan natin yung market groups natin, ang pinaka maganda in terms of weekly performance and monthly performance is home builders, uh, regional banks, and blockchain. Well, actually, na, halos lahat naman nandito sa positive level. So, on the weekly perspective naman, uh, negative levels, eto yan, yung mga names na yan. So, home builders, tignan natin, sige. Para lang din baka may makita tayo, no? Pero generally, I think, home builders. Yan. So, home builders, tignan natin yung ano niya, yung 
yung technical standing niya no so percent gain from 52 week low 55% percent away from 52 week high negative 9.4% uh year to date 32% in terms of technicals naman above MA10 ta above MA20 MA50 and MA200 although yung configurations niya na dapat MA10 is above MA20 and MA20 is above MA50 uh, under false false ra. and MA50 is still sloping uh, downward so yon so kung titingnan natin yung mga names under home builders eto DHI LEN and VRPHM so tignan natin no DHI so lakas ng counter rally no lakas ng counter rally so in just a few days in just 3 days 14% DHI natin. DR Horton. So, near all-time high din yan. If it breaks above this level, all-time high na yan. So, expect natin na possibly mag-create ng coil tong DHI na pwedeng maging actionable setup. It's either mag-rally pa din for this week, then mag-coil at this level. Or pull back. KBH, uh, tignan natin ah. Uh, sige, LEN. LEN na lang. LEN. So, ito yung top 10 components ng home builders, no? So, hindi mo na kailangan hanapin pa. Andito na lahat ng names ng bawat market groups. So, madidrill down mo na siya. So, same with DHI kanina. LEN, nag-counter rally din ng malakas. So, medyo exhaustion candle to. Expect natin na mag-create uh, ng base or coil. Uh, in the near term. So, yun. Consolidation muna. Then, yun yung pwede mo maging uh, actionable setup. So, lastly, NVR for our home builders. Our home builders. NVR. So, I think, ano to? Uh, Mid-cap. Mid-cap name to. Nag-break nag below this distribution structure pero ang, ginag ang ginagawa niya ngayon parang bear trap, no? Parang nag-create siya ng bear trap na maganda. So, ang gusto natin makita is ganito. Gantong structure. Break above, coil, then, possible all-time high breakout. So, for this home builder name. So, yun. Malakas yung home builders talaga. La task margins nila, eh. Task, ma task margins nila. And, ewan ko, weird. Weird yung nangyayari sa US recently. Parang, taas na spending nila with renovations, mga mga in, infra spre, infra spending ganun so expect na money will flow possibly fiscal spending then will flow to home builders yun so yun so that's it for the US markets so dito na tayo sa mga minor markets natin no? so so sadly PSEI still below the MA50 still below MA50 or MA50 uh, actually, nag-break above 6K naman, so that's a good sign. Pero, kung i-compare natin siya with with this following index, uh, Thailand index, na nag-rally from its low na more than 3%. 3%, 4%. So, ito yung set natin, Thailand index yan. So, VN30, ito Vietnam index. Another neighbor, neighborhood natin yan. So, 6% up from its low. Yung Vietnam Index. So, compare naman natin yung PSEI, di ba? Compare natin yung PSEI. From its low, 2%. 1.9%, 1, 2%. So, actually, ngayon, ngayon palang nag-react yung market. Di ba? Ngayon palang nag-react nag yung market. Last week, wala eh. Uh, dami tayong holiday, no? So, possibly, sa yun sa mga factors din. So, yun. Uh, I think ngayon yung ano, no, release for short selling. I'm not sure if ano yung naging reaction ng market for that. Yun. So, ang gusto natin makita for PSEI is breaks above MA50 and of course this resistance trend line. We are still on a sideways market. Nakomatose na yung market natin. And, ayun. Uh, pretty much wala din masyado makita ng ano eh. May setup eh. Converge, wala din, walang, set, uh, walang actionable setup. Dito, na-deads na rin or parang ang dami ding na-trap dito recently. 
Uh, Bloom, sige, tignan natin. I think, eto, papunta tayo sa support level na, well, actually, na-hit na yung support, no? Nahanap niya na yung support at 8 or 9 pesos. So, expect na lang natin na baka mag-coil dyan, then, pwede mag-recover. Tignan natin. GT cap, ganun din, isa sa mga strongest, <coughs> strongest holding names. Yun lang, nagko-correct siya ngayon. So, yung GT cap natin, nag-break above this resistance trend line. And, parang ang gusto niya mari, mangy- ang, par- parang gusto niyang gawin is, mag-retest dito sa resistance trend line, and then, pwedeng re-break ng resistance trend line. na to, yung minor resistance trend line or MA50 so ang gusto natin makita, recover above MA50 yun talaga, or MA50 so yun so far yun lang no uh, video, sige uh, b- video uh, hindi, walang actionable setup for this name eh pwede naman, uh, resistance trend line breakout or MA50 uh, breakout pero wala eh hindi ko trip yung mga gantong structure. And at the same time, may possibility na mag pivot nga yung Fed, then that's bad for financials. So, ayun. Uh, crypto naman, sige. Nalimutan ko na, crypto. BTCUSDT.T So, nag-rally, BTC natin, or crypto market natin. Uh... From this accumulation structure, nag-breakout na siya, so alam nyo na yung kasunod nyan. Uh, the markup phase, or stage 2. Stage 2 markup. So ngayon, yung ginagawa niya, nagko-coil na lang siya. Nagko-coil. And ang gusto natin makita is a breakout above 36k. So that's for BTC. So ETH, sige, ETHUSDT.P. Ayan, may actionable setup naman for ETH. Hindi pa naman siya nag-break above this accumulation structure. Uh, eto, actually nag-break out na siya dito sa resistance trend line na yan. And this box structure. So, ang gusto natin makita is a follow through. Follow through above 2200, syempre. Gusto natin mag-above to 2200 tong ETH natin. So, yun. May rotation naman yan eh. Una, malakas BTC. Next, ETH. Uh, next large caps or lar- large caps then altcoins so yun total free sige tingnan natin excluding ETH and BTC eto uh, good signal na rin to actually kasi kung titingnan natin eto yung ano nya ba? Diba? eto yung na form yang resistance trend line yan eto yung accumulation structure nya accumulation base And right now, above 1.3 trillion na, no? Yung mga... Yung market cap ng coins, excluding... Ah, total 3 pala. Total. Nakatingin ako sa total. Yan, ito. Yan, ito pala. So, excluding BTC and ETH. May na-form siyang wedge, no? Wedge or channel. Pero bottom line lang dyan, a breakout above this wedge or this resistance trend line is, uh, is a good sign, di ba? For our... Uh, large caps, uh, large caps, altcoins, and any anything, any coin excluding BTC and ETH. So this is a much better gauge uh, for market health, kumbaga, for the crypto markets. Instead of looking at uh, just BTC or yung ETH, no, or yung total, uh, total market cap. So total three. Actually, nag-watch list din kami yesterday. Uh, May mga nakita kami, yun nga, ETH, TRX, USDT.T. nag siya, so pwede mo siyang i-trade as momentum, as a momentum name, no? Momentum setups lang, like, ikikwiki mo lang, hindi uh, ka para mag-commit. So pwede mo sakyan din if mag, mag-re-break yan below 0.097, pwedeng i-short, pwedeng short yung maging, ano mo, bias mo. Pero, General market condition is bearish eh. So, dapat net uh, net long ka. Net long. So, gala din. Gala. So, may actionable setup ka dyan. So, for for many days or for, week, for a week or so, 
nagkokoil lang siya and approaching AV wap siya eh. approaching anchored V wap resistance at 0.027 so ito din structure resistance so pwede mo siyang i-trade no pwede mo siyang i-trade at the lower time frame pwede yung coil na yan pwede mo itong pwede mo pwede mo i-trade yung coil na yan tight stops ka na lang uh, stops mo at this level kung gusto mo yan yung box na yan then stops mo at this point Meron ka pa ding 5.7 is to 1. Target mo lang sell on resistance. So yun, that's it. Uh, that's our quick, uh, quick market update and market watch no? for US, PSE, and crypto market. If may natutunan kayo, uh, please like, share, and subscribe sa YouTube channel natin. Please share this content sa friends ninyo uh, or, fa- or family ninyo din na uh, interested in trading the markets. Uh, yun, ang goal, lang na, ang goal lang naman natin is to educate everyone on how to have a structured uh, watch listing approach and how you should look at the market. So, always at the big picture, always titignan mo in terms of uh, yung macro data din and the liquidity, yung liquidity terms. Hindi yung, ano lang, uh, uncle deep level na, na charting. So, yun, yun lang, no? Uh, ingat kayo and goodbye.